right. Uh, we are going to start on our backs in Supta Baddha Konasana. So come all the way down, bring the soles of your feet together, knees open wide. <laughs> Take some time here to find the shape. You might rock or sway a little bit side to side before you settle in. Arms can be wherever they're comfortable. You can make cactus arms. You could bring both hands to your belly. You could bring your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. Whatever feels nice. Organize yourself in that shape and then really start to settle in. With your first few breaths, you might use your exhales like sighs. Letting go of stress, letting go of tension, but also dropping your weight into the earth. As your back body becomes heavier, allow your front body to open. Your heart, your belly, your hips, your knees. I am. This is one of my favorite mantras to come back to and revisit again and again. I am. Here now as you breathe, can you inhale the word I and exhale the word am. That in itself is enough. We are, we are existing, we are being, we are sharing space and energy. We are affecting and affected by the world. We are creating, we are giving, we are receiving. We are. And perhaps this is your mantra today as you flow and practice on your mat. I am. But as you breathe this mantra, if something in you surfaces that amplifies your intention for today or for this week, let it be. Maybe it's something like, I am still. I'm grounded. I'm grateful. I am here. Take a few more breaths, exploring this mantra, I am. And slowly start to stretch your arms overhead, growing longer through your side waist, reach through your fingertips. And then gently close your legs, heel toe your feet a little wider than your hips and just let your knees gently sway side to side. You might open your arms a little bit wider and as your knees fall left, maybe turn your head to the right. As your knees fall right, maybe turn your head to the left. Just back and forth, side to side a couple times. And then let's make our way into a gentle, happy baby. Draw your knees towards your armpits, flex your feet to the ceiling, catch for the outer edges of your feet and just be gentle here. Pull down on your feet, work your knees a little closer to the floor. Press your feet into your hands to reach your lower back to the floor. And then take some rocks side to side. You can let your head roll right and left. Just massaging through your hips and your back. And come back to center. Give your knees a little squeeze. 
and grab on behind your legs with your hands. Pull your abdominals in and start to rock forwards and backwards a couple times. Massage along the length of your spine, rocking all the way up to your sit bones, all the way back to your shoulder blades. And after a few more of these, I want you to rock all the way into downward dog. You can get there any way you need to. Maybe you roll over your shins, maybe you swing your legs around. Once you're in down dog, paddle out your legs. So keep that movement going. Explore how this down dog feels on your body today. First down dog of class. As you pedal out those legs, add a couple pivots in your heels. See if you can pivot your heels to the left, press into your hands and stretch your right side, waist and body. And then pivot your heels to the right, press into your hands, stretch your left side, body. Maybe taking a couple more of those. And then eventually coming back to downward dog, extending down and out through both heels. Can you find that reach through your heels by pressing a little more into the balls of your feet? Press into your hands, stretch your arms long, but notice if that makes your shoulders shrug up towards your ears. Can you keep that push through your hands, that lengthen your arms as you lift your shoulders up your back away from your ears? Take a big breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Start to rise high on your toes, tuck your chin, roll all the way forward into a modified up dog. Hip bones move towards wrist, pull your heart forward, and then try and pull your shoulders back so they stack right over your wrist. Beautiful, take a full breath in. Exhale, roll back into downward dog. Take that two more times, rise high on your toes, tuck your chin, roll forward, heart pulls forward, and then again, try and draw your shoulders back over your wrist. Press the floor away with your hands, take a full breath in, exhale, downward facing dog. Start to pedal out those legs again. This time, walk your feet towards the top of your mat, and as you do, open your feet mat width apart. So once you arrive, your feet are wide. Bend your knees and come all the way down into a prayer squat. Elbows inside your knees, hands to heart center. Take a couple shoulder rolls back. Slide those shoulders down your back. Scoop your tailbone forward, try and lift your torso, finding more verticality through your spine. And then bring your left fingers out to the left. Reach your right arm up to the sky. Find opening across your chest through your collarbones. We're here for one big inhale. Exhale, back to prayer squat. Hands to heart center. Pressing those knees open wide. Same thing other side. Right fingers come down and out to the right. Reach that left arm up to the sky. Grow wider across your chest. Try and press that right knee open with your right arm. Stay for a breath in. Exhale back to prayer squat. One more big breath in here. As you exhale, forward fold, hands to the floor, lift your hips, take some gentle sways side to side. Rocking through your hips, your torso, your neck, your head. Use that sway to walk your feet in until they're hip width apart. Soften your knees, reach behind you, interlace your fingers behind your back. Try and squeeze the heels of your hands together and roll your shoulders open. Taking a chest expansion in this forward fold, inhale your knuckles closer to the ceiling, spread wider across your chest. Exhale your forehead closer to your shins, stretch longer through the backs of your legs. Take another inhale. And a full exhale. Gently release your arms. Soften your knees and roll up one vertebra at a time. No rush. Once you arrive, take a few moments here. Roll those shoulders back. Step your feet together at the top of your mat. Big toes come to touch. Hands to heart center. Soften or close your eyes. As you connect to your breath, can you add that layer of mantra? 
I am. And again, if anything else surfaces that you would like to attach to that, go for it. Seal that in, bow your forehead to your heart. Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up. See if you can add a little back bend here as your palms press and your hips forward. Exhale, hands through heart center, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, long spine. On an exhale, soften through your left knee. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky, forward fold, twist. Exhale, release. Changing sides, soften your right knee. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, release. Inhale, back into that half lift, long spine. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, big stretch. Exhale, downward facing dog. On an inhale, lift your right leg to the sky, melt your left heel to the floor. Exhale, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Inhale, come to your fingertips, pull your heart forward, lengthen your spine. Exhale, press into your fingertips, stretch your front leg. You can drop your palms to the floor, maybe even soften through those elbows as you fold forward. Two more times on the breath. Front knee bends, rise to your fingertips. Inhale, heart pulls forward. Exhale, press into your hands. You can flatten through those hands. Stretch your front leg straight and fold. One more front knee bends on those fingers. Inhale, heart pulls forward. Exhale, press into your hands. Stretch that front leg and fold. This time, bend your front knee. Step your left foot to the outside of your left hand back into a prayer squat. Zip up through your pelvic floor, press into your feet. As you inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, step or jump, feet together, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up, find a little back bend. Exhale, hands through heart center as you fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, bend your left knee. Inhale, right arm to the sky, forward fold, twist. Exhale, release. Right knee bends, inhale, left arm to the sky. Exhale, release. Inhale, back into that half lift, long spine. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Exhale, step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. On your fingertips, inhale, pull your heart forward, lengthen. As you exhale, palms flatten, press into your hands, stretch your front leg, and fold. Two more like that. Front knee bends. Inhale, heart pulls forward, rise to your fingertips. Exhale, press into your hands, stretch back. Front knee bends. Inhale, pull your heart forward. Exhale, and stretch. This time, re-bend your front knee. Step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Prayer squat. Zip up through your pelvic floor. Pull your belly in. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, step or jump. Feet together, hands to heart center. Let's smooth that out. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up. Find a back bend. Exhale, hands through heart center. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend your left knee. Inhale, right arm to the sky, forward fold, twist. Exhale, release. Bend that right knee, inhale, left arm to the sky. Exhale, release. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, heart forward, pull those shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. On your fingers, inhale, heart pulls forward. Exhale, stretch. Two more, inhale, bend. Exhale, stretch. 
Inhale, bend. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, re-bend through that right knee. Left foot steps to the outside of your left hand. Prayer squat. Zip up through your pelvic floor. Press into your feet. Inhale, rise. Exhale, step or jump. Feet together. Hands to heart center. Last time. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up. Palms press. Exhale, hands through heart center. Fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, soften your left knee. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, release. Bend that right knee. Inhale, left arm to the sky. Exhale, release. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg to the sky. Exhale, step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. On your fingers, inhale, heart pulls forward, smooth it up. Exhale, stretch both legs and fold. Two more, inhale, heart pulls forward. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, bend. Exhale, stretch. Re-bend that left knee. Right foot steps to the outside of your right hand. Prayer, squat. Zip up through your pelvic floor, press into your feet. Inhale, rise. Exhale, step or jump, feet together, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up, find a back bend. Exhale, hands through heart center, forward fold and stay. Heel to your feet, hip width apart. Soften your knees, grab onto your big toes in yogic toe lock. First two fingers and your thumbs wrap around your big toes. Push your toes into your fingers, inhale, pull your chest forward, lengthen your spine. Pull your fingers into your toes. Exhale, glide your torso over your thighs into a deep forward fold. Elbows bend out to the sides. You might take a couple rolls in your shoulders. Eventually slide them up your back away from your ears. Press down and out through your heels to lift and spread your sit bones. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Take one more breath in. Fold a little deeper as you exhale. Release your hands. Heel to your feet all the way to touch. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Bend your knees. As you shift your weight into your heels, start to lift your torso and arms. Scoop your tailbone forward, draw your belly in. Soften through your shoulders. Take a big inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, Kakasana Crow Pose. Hands to the floors, knees to your arms. Elbows will bend and make a little shelf for those legs. I want you to look forward towards the front of the room as best as possible. Start to shift your weight towards your fingertips. Let those feet get a little lighter. And then maybe feet lift off the floor. If so, big toes touch, heels squeeze into tush. Push into your hands, lift your belly for three, two, one, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Press down to rise. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open twist to the right. Right arm back, left arm forward. Scissor your inner thighs together to help you balance. See if you can stack your shoulders over your hips so you're nice and tall through your spine. And then work your torso and gaze around to the back of the room. From here, right hand drops to your back thigh. Left palm turns to the ceiling. Exalted warrior, inhale, reach up and back with that front arm. Let your back fingers walk down your back leg. Bend your front knee a little deeper. Take a full breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Seal that back heel down, open out wide. Right palm to the ceiling. 
Inhale, reverse warrior, front knee stays bent as you reach up and back. Exhale, modified extended side angle. Right forearm to right thigh, left arm to the ceiling. Working into a half wrap, try and wrap that left arm around, catching your inner right thigh with your left fingers if you can. Roll that left shoulder open, option to stay here or slide your right hand to the inside of your right foot. Press down and out through your feet. Try and pull your belly in as you rotate your torso to the sky. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. We're keeping this half wrap. Inhale, half bound reverse triangle. Right leg stretches straight as you reach up and back. Start to turn your right toes in as your torso folds over your left thigh, release the half bind. And we're taking three swings. Swing to the right leg, swing to the left leg. Last time, swing to the right leg, low lunge facing front. Inhale, low lunge twist, right arm to the sky. Big transition. Exhale, wild thing. Right toes land behind your left leg. Press your hips to the ceiling. Reach your right arm to the front of the room. Take a full breath in. We have another big transition. Exhale, fall in triangle. Right hand lands. That right leg comes all the way forward and shoots through. Left arm reaches to the sky. Take a full breath in. Exhale, left hand to the floor. Inhale, three-legged dog, shoot that right leg straight up and back. Exhale, chaturanga, maybe that right leg floats. Inhale, up dog, stretch. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath. Maybe you pedal your legs, maybe you shake out your head. Left side, inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Press down into your feet. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open twist left. Left arm back, right arm forward. Again, try and scissor those inner thighs together. Try and stack your shoulders over your hips. Reach out that back heel, bend your front knee, and twist your torso around. From there, back hand lands to back thigh. Front palm turns to the ceiling. Inhale, exalted warrior, lift up and back. Let your back fingers crawl down your back leg as that front knee bends a little deeper. Take a big inhale. Exhale, warrior two, seal your back foot down, open out wide. Left palm to the ceiling. Inhale, reach back, reverse warrior, keep that front knee bent deeply. Exhale, modified side angle, left forearm to left thigh, right arm to the sky. Good, working into that half bind, right arm wraps behind you. Maybe right hand grabs inner left thigh. Roll your right shoulder open. Push down and out through your feet, try and pull your belly in. Option to stay there, slide your left fingers to the inside of your left foot. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. We're keeping that half bind. Inhale, half bound, reverse triangle. Left leg stretches straight as you reach up and back. Start to turn those left toes in. As your torso folds over your right leg, release the half bind. Three swings, swing to the left, swing to the right, swing to the left into low lunge, facing front. Inhale, low lunge twist, left arm to the sky, big transition. Exhale, wild thing, left toes land behind your right leg. Send your hips to the sky, reach your left arm to the front of your space. Take a full breath in, big transition. Exhale, fall in triangle, left hand lands. Left leg pulls forward and shoots through, right arm to the sky. Lift your hips, open your heart, full breath in. Exhale, right hand to the floor. Inhale, three-legged dog, shoot that left leg up and back. Exhale, chaturanga, maybe left leg floats. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Have another moment in down dog. Reset, refocus, come back to your mantra. I am.
Gonna smooth that out one more time through. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, second round of crow pose. Hands plant, knees come to arms. Take your gaze forward. Shift your weight forward. So you can lighten those feet for three, two, one. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot forward. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open twist right. Drop that back hand, left palm to the ceiling. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, open out, warrior two. Right palm to the ceiling, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, modified side ankle, left, uh, right forearm to right thigh, left arm to the sky. Work that left arm behind you for a half bind. Option to stay here or slide those right fingers down. This time, option for a full bind. Wrapping that right arm through to catch left hand or wrist. Continue to roll that top shoulder back. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Keep a half bind. Inhale, half bound reverse triangle. Start to turn your right toes in as your torso folds over your left leg. Release that bind. Three swings, swing right. Swing left, swing right, low lunge, top of mat. Inhale, low lunge, twist, right arm high. Exhale, wild thing, big transition, take your time. Right arm reaches to the front of the room. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, fall in triangle, right hand down. Right leg pulls forward and shoots through. Left arm reaches high, big breath in. Exhale, left hand to the floor. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga, maybe right leg floats. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Straight away, inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open twist left. Back hand to back thigh, right palm to the ceiling. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, open out, warrior two. Left palm to the ceiling, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Modified with that forearm to thigh, right arm to the ceiling. Half wrap that right arm behind you. Option to slide your left fingers down. Option to take a full bind, catching right hand or wrist. Keep rolling that top shoulder back. Stay for a breath in. And exhale, keep a half bind. Inhale, half bound, reverse triangle. Reaching up and back, turn those left toes in. As your torso folds over your right leg, release your half bind. Three swings, swing left, swing right. Swing left, low lunge, facing front. Inhale, low lunge, twist, left arm high. Exhale, wild thing, left toes behind you, hips high, left arm reaches forward. Big breath in. Exhale, fall in triangle, left hand down. Left leg comes forward and shoots through, right arm reaches up. Big breath in. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg up and back. Exhale, chaturanga, maybe left leg floats. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three slow breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Take one more breath in and out. 
Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees. I want you to jump your feet to the outsides of your hands and land back in a prayer squat. Hands to heart center, elbows inside your knees. We're gonna bring those left fingers down to the floor again. Right arm opens wide. This time now that we're a little warmer, option for a half bind, right arm wraps behind, or a full bind. Left arm wraps and catches right fingers. Try and lengthen from tail to head. Keep that right shoulder rolling open. Good, now option to stay here for a few more breaths or gazing to the floor. Start to heel till your feet together. Working your weight onto your right foot, we're coming up to balance in this bind. Breathe for three, two, one. Wherever you are, make your way back into a prayer squat. Take a moment. And we'll try that on the other side. Right fingers down, left arm extends high. Option for a half wrap. Maybe a full bind. Trying to lengthen your spine as you twist. Open wide across your chest. Option to stay right here, or if you'd like to try that balance challenge, gaze to the floor. This is probably the hardest part, just trying to bring your feet closer together. So you can shift onto that left leg. Push down into your left foot to rise. Breathe for three, two, one, good, back into a prayer squat. We'll all meet there. I want you to bring your hands to the outer edges of your mat. Pull your mat forward towards the front of your room. Drop your chin and pull your upper back back. Trying to find a little stretch between those shoulder blades for three, two, one, release your hands to the floor, straighten your legs, drop your head, gentle sways right and left. Use those sways to walk your feet in until they're hip width apart. And this time let's take Padahastasana. Lift your feet, slide your hands underneath your feet. Bring your toes to your wrists. You can bend your knees as much as you need to find that. When you're ready, inhale, chest pulls forward, lengthen. Exhale, pull hands into feet to fold deeply. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Take one more breath in. Fold a little deeper as you exhale. Gently release your hands. Heel toe your feet all the way to touch. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Exhale, prayer twist to the right. Palms press, left arm hooks to the outside of your right leg. Good, sitting low in your hips and working that twist. We're gonna keep that happening, just gaze to the floor. Start to shift your weight to your right foot. Lift your left foot when you're ready and step your left foot back into a lunge. And then use left arm against right leg to deepen that twist again. Get longer from your back heel out the top of your head. Breathe for three, two, one. Release your hands to the floor. Crawl around to a wide-legged straddle. So hands crawl to the left, toes turn in, heels turn out. Then I want you to keep crawling your hands to the left until both hands come for that left foot. Pull your torso into your left thigh. Keep your torso there. As you inhale, bend your right knee deeply. And as you exhale, stretch your right leg. Two more like that. Inhale, right knee bends. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, bend. Exhale, stretch. We're gonna walk our hands all the way to the right, coming into a low lunge, top of mat. Keep your back knee lifted. 
I want you to bring that right arm inside your right leg and bring your right hand to the back of your right ankle or calf. Work that right shoulder underneath your right leg. You can use that right hand any way that's helpful. This might be where you stay. Maybe arms come out to the sides for airplane arms. Maybe you reach behind you for a bind. Keep reaching out that back heel, pull your heart forward. Breathe for three, two, one. Bring your hands to the floor. I want you to slide your back knee in, have a seat and then cradle that right foot in towards your chest. My left arm, or the nook of my elbow, is catching my right foot. I'm just hugging that right leg in, giving it a little rock, opening up through the hips. Good. And just give this a try, compass pose. If this feels good, you can stay here. Otherwise, step by step, just see how this feels in your body. You're gonna bring that right leg over your right shoulder as best as possible. So it's kind of what we did in that lunge, using that right hand to help draw that right leg over your shoulder. And then take that left hand to the outer edge of your right foot. As you shift over to the left hip slightly, right fingers land on the floor, and then work to stretch that right leg any amount. Wherever you are, breathe for three, two, one. Gently release. Hug your knees into your chest. Find your balance in Navasana. Hands behind your thighs. Shins lift to the ceiling. Option to stay here. Maybe arms extend out in front of you. As you inhale, half boat. Lower down and hover. Legs and torso. As you exhale, come back up into Navasana. Just two more. Inhale, half boat. Exhale, Navasana. Last time, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Right ankle crosses over left. Roll forward, jump back, chaturanga, or make your way into down dog any way you'd like. Moving through a flow or stepping. We'll all meet up in down dog. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Exhale, prayer twist, left. Palms pressed, right arm hooks to the outside of your left leg. Sit low in the hips, deepen the twist. Keep all of that happening, just gaze to the floor. Shift your weight into your left foot. Right foot lifts and steps way back into a lunge. And then rework your twist. Press your palms together. Press your right arm and left leg together. We're here for three. Get longer from back heel to top of head. Two. One. Gently release hands to the floor. Walk around to the right into a wide-legged forward fold. Toes in, heels out slightly, and then keep walking to the right until both hands come to your right foot. Pull your torso into your right leg. Stay there. As you inhale, bend your left knee. Exhale, stretch. Two more. Inhale, bend. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, bend. Exhale, stretch. Release and walk your hands around to the left. Low lunge, top of mat. I want you to bring your left arm inside your left leg, left hand to ankle or calf. Whatever helps you, dip that left shoulder underneath your left leg as much as possible. This might be where you stay. Maybe your arms open into an airplane. Maybe you wrap behind your back for a bind. Reach out that back heel, pull your heart forward. Breathe for three, two, one. Release your hands to the floor. Start to slide that right leg in to have a seat. You're gonna bring your left foot to the crook of your right elbow and just cradle that left leg in. 
give it some hugs, give it some sways. And then we'll try compass pose on this side. Every side is different. So if you couldn't get on that first side, just see how this side feels. Might be a little easier, a little harder. If this feels good, stay here. If you wanna try compass pose, you're gonna bring that left leg over your left shoulder using that left hand again. That's helpful to try and bring that left leg over. And then a right hand comes to the outside of your left foot. So you start to shift to your right hip, bring your left fingers to the floor, and then stretch that left leg straight any amount. Breathe for three, two, one, slowly release. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Find your balance on your sit bones. Bring your hands behind your thighs, shins to the ceiling, Navasana option to stay here or reach those arms forward. Three times, half boat. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Two more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, left ankle over right. We're working our way into downward dog. You can either take a flow or just find down dog. We'll all meet up there. On an inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Look to your hands. Exhale, pigeon on the right. Bring your right leg forward. Walk your left knee and left toes as far back as you can. Sit up tall, take a breath in. And as you exhale, fold forward. Close your eyes. See if you can put all that heat into softening, melting, releasing your muscles. You might notice how different stillness feels after all that movement, all that flow. Start to walk your hands back in. Tuck your back toes, step back, downward dog. Take whatever you need to release. You might pedal the legs. You could open your mouth, stick out your tongue, maybe take some pivots side to side with those heels and down dog like we did in the beginning of class. And when you're ready, no rush. Inhale your left leg to the sky, gaze forward. Exhale, pigeon on the left. Bring that left leg forward, walk your right knee and right toes as far back as you can. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale and fold. Big breaths. This is a great place to return to your mantra on your breath.
Start to walk your hands back in. Tuck your back toes, step back, downward dog. And just take a few breaths there. Again, take whatever you need to release a little through your hips, your knees, your face. On your next breath in, shift forward to plank. As you exhale, we're gonna lower to the floor, but I want you to bring your right leg out to the side into a half frog as you lower. So that right knee is shooting straight out from your right hip. Right heel is shooting straight out from that right knee, 90 degree angle there, and that right foot is flexed. Bring your hands a little bit forward. Push into your hands on an inhale, rolling cobra. Wave through your spine. Start to lift your chest any amount. And as you exhale, wave back down. Two more times, lifting as high or not high as you'd like. Push into your hands. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more like that. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Walk your right hand towards the top of your mat. You're just gonna push into that hand a little, lift your chest so that you can slide your left arm through. So left arm threads through. Start to roll onto your back, keeping that right leg where it is and unthread or uncurl that right arm over to the right. We're just coming into a supine twist Left hand can come to your right leg and gently press down. Can you turn your gaze towards your right thumb? And then start to bend your right arm. Hand comes towards your chest. We're gonna rewind everything and end up on our belly. Both legs straight behind us. Hands on the floor. Tuck your toes. Lift your knees off the floor. So just engage your legs so your knees lift. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, press up the plank. And then we're going to lower again, but now left leg comes out to a half frog. So as you lower, bring that left knee out to the left. Bending 90 degrees at the knee, flex that left foot. Hands can come forward slightly. Push into your hands, inhale, rolling cobra. Wave through your spine as you lift any amount. Exhale to lower. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Slide that left hand forward a touch. You're just gonna push into the hand to lift your chest so you have space to thread your right arm through. Left leg stays as is. Start to roll onto your back and open your left arm to the left. And we're just coming into a twist on our back. Right hand can gently press that left knee down. Work your gaze all the way to your left thumb. Breathe here. We're just gonna rewind, start to bend that left arm. Hand comes towards your chest, roll to your belly, extend both legs back behind you. Bring your hands to the floor. Tuck your toes, engage your legs so your knees lift. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, press up to plank. And into our last down dog. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze past your hands. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump through your hands. Have a seat and stretch those legs long. Flex your feet, sit up tall, take a breath in. Exhale and fold. See if you can walk your sit bones back a little bit. Soften over your legs. Make your way up to sit. 
and then unroll onto your back into plow pose. So as you land on your back, you can push into your hands, use your abdominals, lift your legs to the ceiling, and then all the way behind you. Try and interlace your hands. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath you. Extend your arms long, and as you push down into your arms, try and lift the backs of your knees to the ceiling. Release the bind of your arms, your hands. Use your arms and hands as support as you slowly unroll one vertebra at a time. Eventually land your legs all the way out in front of you. Zip your legs together as if you had one. Push into your elbows, Matsyasana fish pose. Start to puff your chest to the ceiling. Rise onto the top of your head as you gaze towards the back of your space. Open your chest to come out of this, press into your elbows again. Lift your head, tuck your chin, slowly roll down. Hug your knees into your chest. Bring your right hand to your right knee, left hand to your left knee. Start to open your knees away from each other and circle them around a few times one way. A few times the other way. Happy baby. Flex your feet to the ceiling. Catch for the outer edges of your feet. Pull on your feet to bring your knees towards the floor. Press feet into hands to reach your lower back to the floor. Option, like we did in the beginning of class, to rock a little side to side. If you'd like to stay still, that is beautiful as well. You might stretch one or both legs straight if that's calling you. Just check in. See what you need. And then release and hug your knees in. This time wrap your arms around your shins. Bring your forehead to your knees. Squeeze everything into a tight, tight ball. Push the middle of your back into the floor as you squeeze for three, two, one, release and take final rest. Shavasana, legs long, arms wide. Close your eyes. Let's all take one more big breath in and then a big sigh out. <sighs>
slowly start to deepen your breath. Maybe you find your mantra again as you breathe. I am. Wiggle your fingers, your toes, your ankles, your wrists, and turn your head side to side. Start to walk your feet in towards your seat. Reach your arms overhead. And as you roll to the right, you can use your right arm as a pillow. Make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Arriving with a tall spine. Drawing your hands to your heart center. Close your eyes. I am indeed a king because I know how to rule myself. Pietro Aretino. The divine light in me bows to the divine light in you. Namaste.